Hey Explorers, my name is Mark Williamson and this is my channel Age of Exploring. So yesterday we got back to the campground and the wind was howling like 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35. Um, I tried to put my tent up and uh, yeah that did not go well. Um, Basically, uh, it was so windy that the bathtub of the tent acted like a parachute, and I was lucky to save the, the tent and not destroy the poles. And on my way out, um, I watched a trailer get blown off of the, the hitch stand, get blown off the blocks. That's how powerful the wind was once in a while. I ended up in uh, Death Valley Junction at the Armagosa Opera House and Hotel, which was really really good that was awesome before we go any farther into the park I'm going to take a tour of the Armagosa Hotel and Opera House because it had a history and things in it that were really cool and, and I didn't know about built in 1924 maybe 26 24 I think by the Borax Works from uh, Death Valley this is the area where their workers were Housed and Zane Gray apparently shamed them into building this because they had no social uh, interaction for their workers. They spent $300,000 at the time. A lady named Marta Beckett, well, after they built it, it went into disrepair after the Borax Works moved to Boron in California. But it went, uh, in 1967, a lady named Marta Beckett from New York came here with her husband and uh, visited and, and was, she was a dancer and was enamored with the opera house. So she made a deal with the owner to rent it or buy it. Uh, it was $45 a month and she moved from New York. Her family moved here and they restored it. It was covered with mud, the floors were warped, and she stripped it all down, restored it. And uh, hand painted the murals that you're going to see in this. And apparently, the opera house has a whole audience painted on the walls and the ceiling. Um, she hand painted them all the way up until the late 90s when she. She lost control of the brush because of the age. Um, and she died in 2017, but there's now a, a foundation that is taking over and, and it's re slowly restoring it. You can see where the walls are coming down, but they're not. They're, I stayed here and the, and the room's really nice. It's just the, the colonnade, look at that. That's just, and apparently she had shows weekly, and um, people came to it, and they still have plans on restoring it when they can, when after COVID, and, and opening up again. Look at this road grader. Every one of these controls does something. This one, I think, uh, changes the angle. These things change the, the height of it so they can lift it up and down. The brake, steering, this changes the angle, the, the, the angle of this. This is just fascinating. Guy had to work hard to do that, I'll bet. Here's Marta Beckett. She, like I said, died in 2017, at the age of 93. Again, all of these are painted by her. She had her own playbills. You got a collection of the same things you find around here. I think that's some of her props. 
desk was used by the post office on I guess it goes on for over 80 years. The legs actually been damaged by floods. You can see all the holders for the stamps. Canceling mail and things. And again, this is all Marta Beckett's work. On the walls. They're actually the originals, which is just phenomenal as old as they are. This is the cafe, which they gave me permission to come in and record this. This is amazing. That's the uh, Armagosa Hotel and Opera House. Uh, since recording that and uh, getting home, I've, I've learned more. Marta Beckett, who was born on August 9th, 1924, was found by National Geographic to be forming in front of a, a empty house when asked why. Um, she said, so she was ready when someone showed up. And people did show up when it became public. Ray Bradbury, Red Skelton came to an, an, the Opera House and watched. Um, in 1981, it became a registered national landmark. And in 2017, on January 3rd, she passed away. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, be great, do good, go out and explore.